Fantastic. We're back. We got some new potions. Was just checking if that was a dead end, and it was. So let's continue on through the third domain. I'm actually kind of. I kind of want to just get through this tower before the end of this uh, session, actually. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. That we're at. Um, I would assume that there's going to be another portal after this tower. So I'll see. Um, I'll just get through the entire tower thing, and if there's not a portal, I'm just going to save it at the nearest rebirth fountain after the tower. And if there is a portal, then, well, clearly I'll just stop there, really. But, um, yeah, let's just get through this tower. I'm a little bit more motivated, even if it is... I am very hungry right now. <laughs> but, oh, well. That's what you get when you don't eat anything for a full day, but, you know. Do -do -do. Kill, 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 and enjoy the summer. The weather outside is really nice today as well, so... I will probably have my dinner outside in the lovely shade of summer. In the lovely weather with some nice water. Or whatever I am finding as a drink. Probably... Probably water, actually. <laughs> but whatever. That is not important. Lots of fantastic things to look forward to on this beautiful day. Like killing a bunch of things in an imaginary tower made of cubes. Yes, that is what we are doing right now. And I am loving it. Because I am finding this area quite pretty. It's probably all the green. I randomly like green today. Tortured soul. I believe I can combine this soul with another tortured soul. So I'll have two of them. I don't know where the other one went. Oh, there it is. Bonk. Excellent. Frenzy! I probably should have picked this up first. Oh well. Frenzy again! Well, still, actually. Run, run, run. Also, I should mention that I'm not sure if I missed any... Oh, run, run, run. I'm not sure if I missed any of the um, uh, thingy of Hades stuff. Like, if I missed the boss already, I, I highly doubt I did because I did run past just about everything, really. So, I if I end up not having completed that quest, I'm just going to show little bits and pieces where I get the final um, gems, if you will. In fact, you will, because they are gems. But, um, yeah. I don't think I'm missing any up to this point, but I really can't tell for sure. Texture! You're not placed there very well, and you blink. But that's not important. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna make sure I've got every side quest done at the end of this video, walkthrough, playthrough, whatever you wish to call it. Just for the sake of completion. Oh, don't throw poison at my face. It hurts. I find it unpleasant and not very nice. And this floor wasn't quite as big as the other ones, and that's an Armor of the Tireless Soldier. That sounds really nifty, potentially. Unless it's like a mage armor. Then it sounds less nifty. Oh, there you go. Uh, let's see. More armor. About the same amount of strength. More health. More regener regeneration. And more resistance to stuff that is currently damaging me. Hmm. Less dexterity, though. Will this hurt my dexterity a lot? Yeah, it will hurt my dexterity, clearly. Will do slightly less damage. I get a considerable boost to health. I get like 500 extra health, so that's really quite good, actually. Um, and my combined armor goes up by about 100, so uh, I guess I'll sacrifice some strength for, um, yeah, having better armor, really. It kind of looks like I'm walking slower now as well. It's probably just me. I'm not sure. But I will put some new points in dexterity in the next level up, I think. Because, uh, yeah... Getting kind of low. Probably gonna need it for the uh, bows on Epic and stuff like that. I don't really know what else you need dexterity for, actually. I think you only need it for bows, but I'm not entirely sure. You probably need it for uh, some other weapons as well, like daggers and whatever. Whatever usually requires dexterity in games like this. Um, which is generally daggers and bows. Or probably spears as well, actually, since uh, hunters use spears as well and... Yeah. 
I'm gonna assume spare you. Actually, do I carry around a spare with me? I think I picked one up, but I probably sold it already. Oh uh, well, we'll find out the next time we find a spare. I'm a bit curious now about the dexterity cost of a spear now for some reason. Let's see, let's pick this one up, uh, this, uh, this random one. Yeah, requires strength 115 and dexterity 245, so they seem to be mostly for just equipping weapons. I don't think they increase your armor like in other games. I believe they did that in Diablo 2, but I don't think they do that in this game, so yeah. It's a shame, but it doesn't really matter. It just means I'm going to focus more on putting points in strength rather than in dexterity. That's pretty much the only difference there's going to be, isn't there? Yes. Better, well. Ooh. We haven't seen that guy that was going to save our life yet, so I wonder when uh, he comes back into play. Ooh, Shengdong's Dark Medicine. I believe I have one of those, but apparently I didn't. Maybe it's in my chest somewhere, my storage chest thingy. I did put some incomplete ones in there, so I'll have to look at that later. In fact, I probably should clear out my inventory a little bit because it's a bit of a mess right now, so... Hmm. I should be more sensible with things like that, but oh well, we'll manage. And I think I'm going to end up having missed another tiny little hallway somewhere along the line, like, uh, right here. There's probably going to be a wall there, so I probably wouldn't have missed it anyway, so... See, <laughs> my cat is meowing. Why, why does the cat decide to meow at times like this? And why does he meow so loudly? He probably wants food as well, just like me. But he still has food, so it will be okay. I'm sure he'll manage. Which sounds kind of mean. But the cat has food, and I'll just give him a nice piece of fish. I'll just make some fish for dinner, I think, and give him a small piece. And it would appear that the cat is currently upstairs now. This entire video will be me talking about the current happenings of what the cat is currently doing. Completely ignoring this pretty tower of prettiness, which uh, seems to be in the um, some sort of pandemonium area where you can see the stars and whatever. whatever. In fact, it kind of reminds me of um, that area in Diablo 2, where in Act 2, I don't even really remember what it's called, but it was um, close to the end of Act 2 where you have to fight that wizard that shoots firewalls. I, got the, I, I know what the enemies do, I know. <laughs> what the area looks like. I just can't remember if the name. That's annoying. It's kind of like when you get a song stuck in your head and you don't actually know what song it is. Ugh. How delightfully irritating. Ah, but oh well. I'm sure we'll think about it. It's, I think it's over with an N. That's the entire thing I remember about the name. Ah, good times. I should probably maybe I should record Diablo 2 one of these days. I probably won't actually because... Yeah, uh, uh, we I played that way too much, and I do mean way too much. I I am really quite done with that game. Uh, up to the point where at one point we finished it on hardcore difficulty with three characters on. I believe it was hell difficulty. I think that was the latest last difficulty in that game. And yeah, once you've done that, there there is only a couple of extra things you can do, and we did try doing those things, and we died miserably. But that's a story for a different time. I'm just going to put two points in dexterity. I think I'll put some more points in spirit mastery as well, because I kind of want that uh, outsider. kind of curious what he can do, even if he only lasts for 30 seconds. It, it sounds kind of fun, pretty much. And death ward. Ooh, that sounds pretty good too. Um, well, is it... Yeah, that, that just kind of stops you from dying, doesn't it? That's kind of nifty. But if I level up one more time, then I think I can at least put one point in the outsider. So I definitely do like that. I'm guessing we can even see him before we get to the end of the game. Like that a lot. Because uh, it would be nice if we could just show up little, the final bits of the spirit mastery power. And if we can't, then I'll, I'll just put some. I'll just remove some points for the Lich King, really. Because it's not like he's really useful at this point. In fact, I, I think we can all safely say that he is kind of rubbish right now. And yeah, we are. Another little part missing over here, but. I, I don't think I'm gonna go back for that. 
M maybe if I find a quest enemy there when I uh, not play through that little that, that blah, blah 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 blah. I'll run back after I've um, gone through this tower. But uh, I don't think I'm going to record it. I don't think there's going to be any interesting things that we've missed because, let's face it, most of this area looks kind of the same. So I don't think we, we would really be missing out of seeing a few more places, more or less. Another Fonoi. That's another sword thingy. No, this time it's an axe. I guess I was confusing the Fonoi with another one. Hmm. Isn't it? Yeah, stairs down or further up ahead. Getting closer to the first domain. Like that. Definitely do. I'm gonna use another scroll of frenzy actually to just uh, speed the process up a little bit more. Do a little bit of extra damage. Oh yeah, kill these guys from the other side. That is delightful. I'll pick up the health potion and ignore the energy potions because, yeah, I barely use them really. <laughs> don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! You died in one hit. That's kind of random. But I guess he was a regular archer, not some master super archer man of archer archeriness. So. That would probably be the reason, wouldn't it? Yes. Run, little frenzied boy. Use the scroll of frenzy to run like a maniac. I wonder if this is... I'm guessing the first domain is not going to be very big. I mean, music started playing. It's the first domain. Probably the last one. Unless they go with none, null domain. That would be a little weird. Probably not, but <laughs> let, let's just continue going and see what we can find. Let's find some new enemies, some flame wardens, which kind of look like those um, life leeching enemies from the start of the game. Hmm. Probably just retextured enemies, but oh well. We don't mind because they look like they're on fire, and that looks pretty. And we like things that are on fire, especially when it's not me. That is especially good when it's on fire. Oh, that's a frost warden. They look like they're on ice, and they look exactly the same otherwise. <laughs> Okay, that's a little bit lazy, but we'll forgive them, because this area still looks quite pretty, in my humble opinion. And it kind of sounds like, when they stand still, it sounds like they're shooting arrows at me. It's really weird. Like, it feels like I have to... Uh, in, blah, blah, blah. I, I'm not good with words today. But yeah, it feels like I should avoid arrows that are flying at me, but at the same time, there aren't any. And it's, it's just a little bit weird. Just like these lightning enemies that make lightning sounds whenever they just kind of stand there. And also look exactly the same as the fire and ice ones, but... Uh, let's, let's not go into that one, shall we? I don't think there's actually... I don't think I've ever seen a game like uh, Diablo or Titan Quest or whatever that doesn't use retextures enemies at some point. Granted, I have not really played many others, in fact. I can't name another one on the top of my head, but uh, unless you can't... I, I suppose Torchlight, but I think they use retextures enemies quite prominently as well. Uh, I can't... I honestly can't think of a game like this that didn't use retextures enemies at some point or another. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to look into that later, actually. I might uh, see if I can find more information about that. Hmm. I'm guessing there aren't any. And uh, another area that we're not going to explore because I'm lazy. Uh, don't you love these videos? They're, they're really a lot of... There's a really a lot of effort put in these things. But that's not important. What is important is someone commenting on a game that is kind of like this but doesn't have any retextured enemies whatsoever. Ooh, that's a hero. And uh, yeah, these guys generally kind of hurt so I'm not... Yeah, okay. The hero monsters seem to die quicker than the Grand Master Archers. That's a little strange, but oh well. Bracers of the Mehia. Meh. Just meh. Over here. Over here. Hey, it's you again. You're you're trapped again. How do you keep it's doing that? It's safe in here. Come. I found the key and unlocked this door. I have been all over these plains and I've seen many things. I have seen Cerberus turn from his true purpose. So beware, he stalks these halls. AKA, he's probably gonna be downstairs in a second. And, uh, 
I guess you wouldn't be able to get these chests if, um... Your inventory is full. Well, if your inventory was full, but, uh, if you, uh, didn't save him from that jail so your early, I he probably wouldn't be here. That, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Um, will I sell up? Will I not? I probably will, actually, because, uh, odds are there's gonna be a boss at the second, and he's probably gonna drop a lot of stuff, too. So, I will see you in just a second. Okie dokie. Let's continue downstairs to, um... The Nulth Domain, or maybe, uh, Sarah uh, Thingy's Domain. I don't know, I've forgotten his name. <laughs> uh, I'm good at this game, but whatever. We are nearing stairs to what I can only assume to be pretty much the end of this tower. And my Lich King died, and I will pay no notice to this, because I'm just going to summon him again, and nothing ever happened. But, um, yeah, I think we are pretty much nearing the end of this tower over here. Which is kind of nice, because I am growing more and more hungry. Because of not having made dinner yet. And my cat is looking at me wistfully, hoping that I will one day feed him again. And I probably will in a few minutes, but, you know, cats have that look. When a cat looks into your eyes and wants food, it will let you know that it wants food either by meowing for three days, or just staring at you for three days in a way that just shows them, I want something from you, and I'm just going to keep on staring at you. Until you make me something. I'm not going to hint what it is, but you probably already know anyway. Since, let's face it, cats generally only want three things. Sleep, food, or attention. And the occasional going outside, but that almost counts as attention as well now, doesn't it? Pretty much, but you know. It depends on the cat breed whether or not they go outside. Or if they have owners that put them on a little leash and walk the cat. As some cat owners do. In fact, we had to do that when we moved house and our cat was a little confused about being in a completely different house suddenly. And yeah, I think most cats have that effect when they move house, don't they? This hat is kind of terrible. <coughs> so, we shall try to breathe in our saliva and move on. That is exactly what we're doing. That looks like a really weird door. I'm just going to jump down a hole in a second and think it's completely normal. And uh, this map, I have to say, looks a little bit weird. And yeah, it looks... Uh, oh, ow. Those guys. Ooh, those guys hurt, actually. Yeah, they hurt quite a lot. I'm just going to run away for a second. Guzzle some potions. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, there we go. Ugh. I think there was a several master, yeah, several master archers. Not pleasant. Ugh. Right, let's not do that again, but... Yeah, it looks like the map just kind of cuts off random in this... Yeah, it looks a little bit icky, but... Whatever. Let's go with it. Lich King. And now we are in... We're still in the first domain, that's a little weird. Hmm. Would have expected them to give it a little bit of a different name, but oh well. Right. 14 po- okay, f yeah, 15 potions. Let's see what you can find. Yes, sir. Sir, that's his name. Ooh, that looks like something. I don't want to be inside of... Ooh, ow, lots of... Ooh, lots, ow, yes, okay. This battle is going to cost potions. I will reckon. Ah! Ooh, God. Mikey, this guy's attacks, man. They are not nice. They are not nice in any way shape or form, and somehow my Lich King is surviving this. No idea how. I'm going to use a scroll for that. Because that might actually help this time around. Come on. Yes, pay... No, not me. Pay attention to the Cyclops that's standing right bloody next to you. Because this hurts, and it's not very nice, and my Cyclops died probably because he was standing in that poison crack thing, whatever. Hmm. Oh well. It seems to, nah, it seems to be going alright, actually. But he does hurt. He definitely does hurt, so... Yeah. Be careful when fighting the evil dog dog. Die, evil dog dog. And let's see what kind of treasure he has. There is a chest in here. Generally, these chests are actually locked before you uh, fight this boss as well, and they magically open when you unlock them, which is nice. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Lots of things for me. Lovely. I'm just going to check out the side quest uh, thingy, actually. The uh, opening of passages. 
Hopefully it'll make us right for the look for thingy in Elysium. Okay. Let's see if that's where we end up now. After we've gone through the hall now we're in the Hall of Judgment. Greetings, mortal hero. Greetings, great warrior. Greetings, slayer of titans. Hi. Thank you for freeing us, hero of Greece. When the rest of the Olympians left, Hades heard the call but would not follow. He condemned us to this prison, but we were the lucky ones. The heroes of Elysium are at this moment fighting his army. They have no hope of victory, but they fight on. They await you, for the blind seer prophesied that a living hero would save us all. I judge you worthy, for you seek to save what is good. Go to Elysium and help them, and to Agamemnon, who leads them. The path is now open. Okay, ooh, two more. Hades sought our help to take the world of men. He offered us command of his armies and our own kingdoms when the conquest was complete. We were men once and would not betray the future of man. When we refused him, he found new generals and he imprisoned us here. It is not often we judge the living. I judge you worthy. For you champion those unable to fight. Go to Elysium. Sounds good. What do you have to say? Bent on taking what he desires by force, the god Hades has made an army of his servants. The palace of Hades churns out daemon warriors. Strong magics issue from that place and guide them, restrain them. The lord of the underworld corrupts his own home in order to satisfy his greed. I judge you worthy, for you think not of yourself. Enter the Golden Fields. Okay, and uh, yeah, all this time when I thought of, hey, that pretty area that I couldn't remember, I think this would be the area that I was talking about. Because, um, yeah, looks quite nice. Very bright, though. Very bright. Really, really bright, actually. Titan's Bay, you have come. What I have foreseen has come to pass. My destiny is nearly fulfilled. I have one more prophecy to speak. Make of it what you will. Only living blood can crack the gate. Only living flesh can unmake the makers. Only living hands can free the breath of spring. Only living spirit can banish death. I have seen. Now make my visions true. So basically, don't die. That's, uh, yes, very helpful. This place is very pretty, <laughs> as I may have said once or twice before. Uh, let's just talk to some people, like this epic so poet. it was long ago, where I lived in Boeotia, at the foot of Mount Helicon, as I tended my sheep, that the Nine, the Muses, who dwell upon that sacred peak, looked down and blessed my brow with the gift of verse. How very helpful. Before you lies the new Elysium, scarred and bleeding, embattled like a raging boar surrounded by a pack of wolves. And yet, mortal, our greatness shines. Grave the task, yet our heroes delight to go to war again, fall in glory. I'm sure he has a lot of interesting things to say. It was ten full years we had waged our war on Troy. We Greeks out upon the beaches, and King Priam's people behind their mighty walls. Walls built, mind you by Poseidon and Apollo, gods. We would never knock those down. So Odysseus says he knows what to do, and we all start to wonder, how does he think he can get past those walls? Well, at his orders, some men went off to do some woodwork, and all the troops were called back. As if we were fleeing cowards, we sat in our tents that day. No fighting. All that woodwork, what do you think they made? A gleaming horse, five men, ten men tall, and it rolled on wheels. Here is how it went, I will tell you. Rosy fingered dawn touches the Trojan walls and finds the horse sitting there, a gift. A gift? Are they giving up? The Trojans wonder. After all this time, is this cursed war done with? In goes the horse, and what they do not know is that every king and mighty warrior, Odysseus too, is lying in the belly of that wooden beast. 
They bide their time until night falls, and then they climb out. They slay the guards, they throw open the gates. The Trojan city Ilium is burned. The war is won. Nice little story about the Trojan horse randomly thrown in here. Not sure why, but you know, this game does that every once in a while. The princess, hello. The odds against us are great, but remember, these heroes fighting are the greatest who ever dwelt upon the earth. Hmm. That might mean that some of these people are actually kind of useful. That's nice. Ah, you've come to join the battle. Alas, it cannot be won here. You must stop Hades himself. The old prophet prattles on about a living hero entering Hades' palace. We cannot enter that place, so we fight and we are destroyed. Yesterday we lost Pentheus and Lycurgus. And today, my old rival Priam. Brave souls destroyed forever by Hades' ambition. He was lord of this world. Now, he is just another tyrant. A tyrant you must overthrow. Beyond the front, Odysseus has penetrated the fiend's lines. As ever, he and his men use guile where brute force cannot triumph. Find him, and he will help you enter the city. His plots have breached impenetrable walls before. Go quickly. The hopes of all men, living and dead, go with you. Okay. Right then. We have activated another resurrection shrine. We have entered the portal. Or activated the portal to Elysium. And we're just about nearing the end of the game, really. But uh, I'm going to take a little break here because my cat has been staring at me for about 10 minutes now. And it, it looks quite sad. So um, I hope you enjoyed it so far and I will see you next time. Bye bye.